would like to invite uh, Darren uh, from uh, uh, LH Metal from Cambodia to give us a little bit of update about Cambodia. Thank you, Darren. Good morning. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. I am Darren from Cambodia. Now, in, in Cambodia, I believe uh, not many people know what is the country is all about. We are a new uh, uh, country in terms of gold. Uh, the population, we have 15.76 uh, million, which is uh, still a small population. Uh, in the past 10 years, we have an average growth of uh, GDP uh, of 7% on average annually. And I think in 2017, we have 6.9% uh, growth. So, uh, as, as for the 2018, we are on course for the 7%, another 7% uh, GDP growth year on year. So within the past 10 or, or 15 years, we have been on a steady growth. Politically, we are quite stable. There have not been uh, many changes, and as the government are looking into the way to encourage foreign investors to go into the market, uh, to, to enhance the growth of Cambodia. If you look at the market segment, we are, we are, we are having 38% uh, in the service sector, 29% in manufacturing, 26% on agriculture, and the rest of the other market is about 7%. The rate of um, unemployment in Cambodia is very low. And as you can see that we are a very young country, we come out of the wars in 1979, 1980, so we are about 37, 38 years old. As of this point, the average age for the Cambodia is about 24 years old. A very young population, very young uh, workforce, young and dynamic. Now, as of this moment, we have in, in the central bank, we officially we have 12.4 ton gold reserve. So, uh, on a gold market, we are we we are a, a agriculture rich nation. We have an excess of about one million ton of rice on average yearly basis. Now, uh, as we come out of the war. We have used rice and gold as a method or as a form of currency for water trade during the early years. That means in the 1979, 80, 81 in that years. And as, as this become a tradition and Cambodia as a country, we are more inclined toward gold. We are very receptive to keeping gold as a form of investment as well as the safe haven. So, as like the uh, Mr. Alistair have been mentioning, uh, as the young workforce is is uh, working toward the uh, growth of the country, people are getting richer and richer. The Cambodia people would look at gold bar as a form of investment. In the past year or so, I have seen uh, people who, who actually have extra cash on hand and they are not doing anything. They actually buy gold bar and keep it as a, a, a safe haven for their investment. Interestingly, they are not keeping it as a form of uh, paper gold. They are keeping it as a bullion gold, physical gold. So, in traditionally, if you talk about the mentality of the people, everybody during the wedding ceremony and all these people are referring to uh, giving gold because of our heritage. It's, it's just that recently people start to move from gold to uh, diamond and stuff like that, but mostly we are still uh, looking at gold as the uh, gift for ceremony like this. 
Now, uh, as, of, as of this point, there are quite a number of trading houses in Cambodia, which is established by the local. We are importing only uh, LBMA bar, uh, four nine of gold. <coughs> now, for the if you look at the mining opportunity, as of this moment, Cambodia have launched uh, uh, the Ministry of uh, Mine, uh, Industry, Mine and Energy have been giving out quite a number of mining exploration license. Uh, currently, there is no gold producing mine in Cambodia. The largest known, the largest known uh, gold deposit in Cambodia, we are estimating at a potential of about 600,000 uh, ounce deposit at Okwa. So uh, the challenge for the mining sector would be the funding for the mining equipment, cost of building and road infrastructures at remote area, uh, life cycle of the mines, and labor costs. However, if you look at the Cambodian labor cost, it is still comparably, comparably low as compared to uh, the region. The other, the other thing that would be good would be the mining finance opportunity. So as the country have not been tapped into the, our mining yet, this will still present quite a, uh, an opportunity for the uh, financing sector. The current government policy focus on agricultural and manufacturing productivity as well as export potential. As the government are very effective to form a foreign investment, to, to encourage the foreign investment, as well as we have the uh, a lot of benefit from the Belt and Road Initiative from the Chinese government. As, as the GDP growth, we are looking at within forecasting for the next year also to be around 6.7 to 7% annually within the next five years. And once again, looking at the GDP growth per capita, the spending power growth, the gold investment will definitely grow uh, along the line of that growth as well. So for Cambodia as a new market, but I see that there, will be, there is a lot of potential for this country to grow and, and I would like to invite the foreign uh, investor to look into Cambodia as a country as a whole and as well as the gold market as a whole as uh, we will present quite a substantial uh, business opportunity in Cambodia. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. Uh, what I hear is Cambodia is young, Cambodia is, uh, has potential and they have high, high GDP growth and uh, the young people are willing to learn and they, are, they have a friendly government policy. So, this is something that uh, as an investor would like to hear.